I'm very honored to represent a district in southeast Michigan, which I think you could argue is probably the epicenter of what is happening with our nation's economic challenges. And uh, my beautiful state of Michigan, my heart aches when I see what is happening economically there. And so a year ago, when President Obama uh, and his solidified majority in both the Senate and the House uh, took office, uh, and the President started talking about how he was going to address the economic challenges facing us, I was there, and I think the Republicans were there, and the American people were there. We all knew we needed to do something. Washington needed to do something about our economic challenges. Uh, instead of that, this president, I think you could argue the most partisan president that America has ever seen, and his Democratic majority rammed down a so-called economic stimulus plan down the throats of this Congress and the American people. Uh, unemployment went from eight points to 10 points. Uh, we have lost three million jobs in the last year. Uh, and then they promptly forgot about the economy and went on to an agenda of cap and trade, uh, the so-called health care reform bill, uh, forgetting what is happening out there and the challenges that are being faced by the American people economically. And the worst thing is they have done it all in secret and behind closed doors. Well, the American people have been speaking. They spoke in August. Mr. President and the majority, can you hear us now? The American people spoke in Virginia. Mr. President and the American people, can you hear us now? The American people spoke in New Jersey. Can you hear us now? And they certainly spoke last night in Massachusetts. Mr. President and the Democratic majority, can you hear us now? And the Republican conference will absolutely extend our hand again, and the President and this Democratic majority will see that we want to, we want to, we are willing to work with them to address the challenges facing our nation economically and certainly to keep our homeland secure as well.